I first thought about making this project when I was pregnant and I had released one album as a solo artist and a few albums before that with my trio, the Nat Barge Trio. And those previous albums, people had always talked to me about how they use that music to really help them relax because it's very sort of quiet, serene um, piano music. And so when I was pregnant, I thought, well, what would it be like if I actually specifically wrote an album that is for babies to relax to and more significantly their parents because once I realised that a lot of the music out there for babies was quite cheesy, um, you know, like at its worst sort of listening to repeats of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the baby monitor or Brahms Lullaby <laughs> and not every parent wants to listen to that over and over. So I thought about making an album that was not only for babies to enjoy listening to and relax to but also might be enjoyable for the parents to listen to as well. That sort of led me to interview a couple of music therapists about what kind of musical principles I could work with to make the music as sort of uh, sedating as possible for babies. And they talked about the importance of the music working for the parents as well as the babies. And they also talked about uh, the music being at a similar tempo to the baby's heartbeat, uh, being sort of not having too much variation in the volume of the music, um, having sort of um, hushed tones, so using instruments that are really quiet. So some of the music, for example, I uh, recorded using the felt on the strings, like you would have um, on an upright piano, so it's really, really quiet and um, muted. So I, I wouldn't say that the album is technically a musically therapeutic album because music therapy is all about working with a patient and trying to get individual outcomes for them. So a music therapist might use some music but might not use others. But it's very much inspired by the idea of music therapy and those sorts of principles that the research has come up with in the field. I originally started composing the pieces of music with Will in one arm, my baby when he was a few weeks old and I would just write really simple melodies that were sort of influenced by um, the simplicity of him being in my arms and feeling his warmth and feeling him relax as I played the piano and that was where Will's influence came into it. I think it's a real privilege that I have been able to share my music with Will and to see him enjoy the sound of piano and I hope that's something that continues on as he grows older.